Here is a little bit of history before we start the video of this place. This is the first powder mill built in Canada. The name was Hamilton Powder, built in 1864 by three Americans to supply black powder for the Civil War and was used up until 1922. The making of black powder was a very dangerous job and a lot of explosions would occur and destroy buildings and killed 20 workers. They decided to build this mill here in Canada, protect their supplies and not be sabotaged by their enemies. So please enjoy the video.
that you see there, guys, used to be one of the buildings of the Black Powder Company that exploded. We're going to see more here. This is what they use to ground the ingredients together with water, of course, to mix the black powder. Here are some other rooms. So we're gonna try and do necrophonic apps here because this place, there used to be a lot of explosions and 20 workers died. So we're gonna check it out. Just give me two minutes. We are at the first step in making black powder that was used in the Civil War. And this was the first step, but the most dangerous one of all, because they would always have a high risk of explosions. There was mo here there was more explosions and deaths than anywhere else. In 1865, there was an explosion with Davy Monk and David Swanson that left their lives working that day. So let's start the Nicrophonic app. Are you getting some words coming through? Well, I had one word while you were talking. Lights. lights. Yes, there's lights over there. You can touch them. They won't explode. They won't hurt you. You can touch the torch or the little ball. Can you show the camera lights? Okay, let's start. Is Mr. Swanson here? Is Mr. Monk here too? Long, I think Necrophonic said the same thing too. Mr. Swanson, you died in the 1865 explosion? I hope you can hear guys because there's like a water fall over there. Okay, hold on. You get something else? Be long is still there? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna put the nichrophonic on the Bluetooth.
Kilo. Okay. Mr. Swanson, do you have anything to tell us? Would you like to speak with us and explain to us what happened? How old were you when you passed away, Mr. Swanson? Did you like to work here? Can you tell us how and what happened? The way the explosion? Mr. Monk, are you here? So you used to work for the Helmonton Powder Company? It must have been hard work. Did you work long hours? Can you still see the lights? If you touch them, they will light up. They won't hurt you. And there's no danger for explo exploring, uh, explosions. Along? Along what? Yes, along the edge, you can see the lights. If you touch them, there's no danger, it won't explode. There's no more today. So Davy Monk and David Swanson You've passed away in 1865, the biggest explosion ever. And is there a Theodor Moro here? Oui. Monsieur Theodor Moro? Vous êtes décédé le 4 mai 1913. Mr. Theodore Moreau, you passed away the 4th of May 1913. Parlez-vous seulement français? Do you only speak French? Is there a William Vox and a James Thomas that passed away in 1888, the 17th of August? Mr. James Thomas? Or is it Mr. William Vox? 
Mr. William Vox. You used to work here? Music? You, you like to listen to music? Mr. Vox, was that you singing in the previous video? Can you sing us that song? Mr. Swanson, are you still here? Okay, I'll take out my dowsing rods, see if I get better connection. Does someone here like to talk to me? Is there someone here that would like to talk to me? You can just cross the rods. They won't hurt you. If you cross them, that means yes. And if you don't cross them, that means no. Is someone here? They won't hurt you. Thank you. Can you show me with one rod where you are standing right now? Show me where you are standing right now, please, with this rod. Not all along. You're standing right here behind me? Are you afraid of touching my lights? Okay, let go of the rods, please. You're strong. Okay. Is this Mr. Swanson I'm talking to? Mr. Swanson, can you tell me how old you were when you passed away working here? Do you remember how old you were? Okay. I'm gonna count. Cross the rods when I get to that age. Were you in your 20s? 
good. In your thirties? Okay. Now to get the exact number, I'm gonna count. Were you thirty? Thirty-one? Thirty-two? Thirty-three? Thirty-four? Thirty-five? Thirty-five years old? I got creaking. Creaking? You were... Was the job you were doing called creaking? Or was it grinding? You called it creaking because there's a big creek here with lots of water? Okay. I got odd. Odd? No, I don't find it odd. It's just I learned something new. Were you married, Mr. Swanson? Mr. Swanson, were you married when you passed away? Okay, thank you. Did you have any children when you passed away? Mr. Swanson, did you have any children? I got Rhonda. You had a daughter named Rhonda? That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Or was Rhonda your wife? Rhonda is your wife? I got stars. Stars? One. Mm -hmm. The answer is right. Rhonda's her wife. So Rhonda, you had one child, a daughter, and her name was Rhonda? Okay. Were you an American citizen that came up here to Canada to work? There. Were you American and came up here in Canada to work in the powder? Can you tell me how many years you worked for the company? Can you tell me how many years you spent working here? I'm going to count. Cross the rods when I get to the number of years you worked here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is being alive. Oh, of being alive? Mm -hmm. And yes. I think it's 10 years because I heard, I kept hearing 10. And the, uh, the rods crossed at 10. Yeah.
I kept hearing 10 and then make it funny. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Swanson. So you, why don't you go back home? Can you tell me why you, you didn't go back to the U.S.? Okay, can you stop crossing the rods, please? Were you buried here in Canada? Are you buried at the local cemetery here? Was your wife living here also? And your daughter as well? Was your daughter living here? Did your daughter pass away before you? Okay. Mr. Swanson? Do you have a message for us? I can transmit your message to someone if you wish. Do you still have family alive today in 2021? Would you like me to give them a message? If you say it in the box, we will hear you. So you told us your message? Okay, thank you. Well, Mr. Swanson, I would like to tell you thank you very much for communicating with us. It was a real honor to speak with you and for everything, the tools. You like my tools? Okay. So thank you. You are considered a hero in my heart for doing what you did during the war. So please accept my thank you. Have a good day, sir. Look at this, guys. These are the ruins of the gunpowder
This is was one section that exploded and that two men lost their lives here. I've heard that these walls were made like this to contain the explosion just to hear if ever there would be one. And believe it or not, guys, it still smells like like a sulfur or a fire or something. So you see there's a hole there. The gunpowder would be crushed and fall through this hole. And over here, I guess, they would pick and package it or something. Because if you look over here, you see there's like a passage with other cement. So they would get, I know it was powered with the water because there was no electricity back then. So once the powder would go through that big wheel we saw before, it would get here for another processing. And it really does smell like gunpowder or something. I don't know, I never smelt it, but it smells as if like a gun just went off or something. Oh. Oh. There's no 
more gunpowder here today? I met one of your co-workers just before I came here. I met Mr. David Spencer. Thank <laughs> you. 
in today, so there's no more. Now that the investigation is over, we're going to do a little hiking and sightseeing of this place. See guys, I'm on top of that structure of before. I was standing like at the end of the edge there of the floor. It was just to show you another view. And there's that big wheel that was one step and if I'm not mistaken that big wheel was there in the middle and the water would come and it would turn turn the wheels to crush the ingredients and then it would become the black powder that we know. So this is a view of the river that in 18 something it would supply the workers as power. You see there's the wall there at the end with a round thing. That would be like the entrance where there would be a big wheel that would turn to crush the gunpowder with the other ingredients. This is the other side.
it's just so beautiful I had to show you guys I know it's not part of ghost hunting but it's part of our history So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video.